Oh, wow. Hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to everyone's favorite channel. Welcome to at least like a hundred people's. Welcome to my mom's favorite channel. Metal Now. Wow. We made it to episode two. Zero copyright strikes. I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know what that means. By the way, don't come up to me in real life or on social media and tell me that you like the show, that you like the first episode, that you like Metal Now. That's not how this works. You have to tell me in the comments. Haven't you heard my band's latest full-length album? It's all about the algorithm, baby. Am I a joke to you? So, I did end up going to the Asley Dying Phineas Curran's Frost Coffin show, and it was fantastic. I was even able to scoop some sweet Phineas threads. Check, check, check this bad, check this thing out. Check this bad boy out. This, the hell below Phineas hoodie. Here it is. This is it. Why, you think you could look better than some Phineas merch? <laughs> but if you'd like to try, I'll leave a link in the description and you can prove me wrong. It's actually much too warm to be wearing a hoodie right now. It's way too hot. So there's this uh, big controversy about Azale dying and their front man, Tim Lambesis. He served some he served some jail time, I believe, and um, the story is is that he put a hit out on his wife years ago, and that's why Azale dying have not been <clears throat> playing shows or making new music for a while. There are those that think that he should not be given another chance to play music and uh, that uh, people shouldn't go to his shows, people shouldn't support him. And then there's the other side that believes that um, that's, what the, that's what the justice system is for, that's what reform is for, is to take people and, and uh, correct their actions. And, and the, the goal is and the hope is that they end up being able to, to cope in society. So. Enough of that. Okay. All right. Let's talk about new music. So first on the list, Polyphia. Pull that bad boy up. Yeah. Polyphia just released um, Look But Don't Touch featuring Lewis Grant on uh, April 1st. Really sweet track. Lots of awesome guitar leads. I will say that uh, there's some explicit material in the music video, um, but the track itself is uh, is pretty awesome so uh, head on over and listen to that okie dokie after the burial just released exit exist uh, which happened on april 2nd it's a single i believe yes a new single their new album evergreen is coming out on april 19th yeah pretty heavy i listened to the track really cool next we have chan which just released peace a single on uh, April 4th. Sean, you know, I don't know if you could necessarily call them metal. They have a lot of, I would say, progressive metal influences. Just that progressive kind of vibe. A very riffy on the guitar if you're a guitarist. I'm, I'm uh, very amazed by their guitarist. But anyway, they're, they have a new album that's coming out on uh, June, June 7th. June, Knocked Loose. Knocked Loose just came out with a new music video for their song, Mistakes Like Fractures. I have it pulled up right here. I listened to this song and I watched the music video and you might say that it blew me away. Let's see what's next. Periphery. Periphery released a new album, their album Hail Stan. Um, last Thursday, I mentioned it in the last episode, the album was number one on iTunes in heavy, heavy music and metal music, I think. Anyway, it's doing really well. So congratulations, Periphery. We stand your album. Hmm. Now for the song that I'm probably most stoked to listen to over and over and over again for the next week or two. Dayseeker just came out with Crooked Soul, which uh, I have it pulled up here on YouTube. I'm not sure. I'll have to go to their website. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in the description 
for uh, their website and where you can find that. But um, yeah, this song is straight up amazing. It, it it's got some. It's definitely got some era vibes in the uh, kind of genty breakdown in the in the beginning of the song. The singer has an amazing voice. So good. I like it. Wow, that is fantastic. For upcoming concerts, tours, shows, stuff like that. Um, first here I have. Uh, Galactic Empire is uh, playing a show at the Harrisburg Midtown Arts Center on May 4th, of course, because Galactic Empire is a Star Wars cover band or a Star Wars cosplay band. They are a, a super awesome band. I know those guys. I know those guys. We actually recorded a couple albums um, with Grant and Carson. And, uh, yeah, they are playing in Harrisburg on the 4th, so definitely check that out. Hmm, what's next here? Oh. Oh. Here we have a show in Williamsport on May 4th as well. Hmm. That's right, at the Pajama Factory, which is where my heart fear just played uh, a couple weeks ago. They have a show on May 4th as well. Two shows one day you can only go to one most likely at the Williamsport show toothless is playing with dead eyes and uh, Tala and hmm, I cannot read these names that is the problem with some metal names is I cannot read them they always have a fantastic lineup at the pajama factory yep yeah, check check those shows out both on the same day I don't know what you're gonna do tell me in the comments next number next all that remains just announced an australia tour with devil driver all that remains is like one of my favorite bands they're so good um so that's happening in australia between uh august 22nd and august 28th so yeah yeah any australians out there you know i don't know who knows check it out check it out check it out next polyphia yeah they just released a new song they also have tour dates available. They started their tour on April 1st. This is not a joke. In New Orleans. Yeah. And it is going until uh, May 5th. And it ends up in Dallas. So yeah, definitely check that out. I'm sure that those guys are super entertaining um, to watch live. It's good musicians, good guitarists. Good, good musicians all around. After the Burial is actually going on tour with Kill Switch Engage and Parkway Drive on the Collapse the World tour. Honestly, that sounds like a really sweet show. There's also a band called Vane on there. I'll have to go look them up. Their tour starts in San Francisco, California on the 18th and it goes to May 16th and ends in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Check it out. Check it out. Before I leave you, uh, last episode I, I, I uh, invited bands and musicians to uh, show me their music and I uh, give them the opportunity for a shout out. And I was hit up by this band called Kill Doe, Me the metal band. Kill Doe, I believe is the name of the band. So I'm on their uh, website right now. I'm looking at their, uh, their latest release music. It's pretty sweet. It's got some pretty fat guitar tones. It's got some cool uh, breeze screaming. There's lots of breeze screaming. Here, let's see. There's some sweet drums, some sweet bass. I will say my only critiques would be, uh, one, the video I watched, the guy uh, did not have a shirt on. Um, so maybe, maybe put a shirt on. Oh, also, uh, the, the video, the video, um, the song sounded pretty high quality and stuff, but the video kind of, I'm not sure what it was filmed on. So, uh, maybe, maybe just try something new or, uh, try a different camera or, um, get, uh, a photographer or something like that. I tell you this as I film myself on my phone. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, but yeah, so any other musicians out there that uh, would like to be reviewed or uh, would like to have any tours or anything like that, blast it out. Hit me up in the comments or uh, hit me up. Uh, let's see, did I miss anything? I'm sure, I'm sure I missed something. I'm sure I missed lots of sweet tours, sweet shows. Let me know. Let me know what's up. World Breaker, my, my band World Breaker has a new single coming out, coming at you, coming this may 1st the song is called mayday check 
that song out. It'll be on Spotify. You should be able to pre-save it. We'll have a hyperlink. We'll, we'll, we'll show you. We'll, we'll let you know. Uh, that is, that'll wrap it. I think that'll be it. Is that it? Okay. We're going to be done.